Thank you for attending the opening show of our 100th season. A world premiere, dimmed lights and hushed excitement as the curtain opens. Bonjour, je suis Henry Saunders. The play is a farce. Four tenors, two wives, and three girlfriends. And a swank Paris hotel scene. Scream, sighs, double entendre, and door slams. Maria, goodbye! But this world premiere isn't in New York or London. It's in Cleveland, Ohio. Talk about off-Broadway. What's your feeling for Cleveland? <laughs> I love Cleveland. And it's true love, <laughs> not a fling. Tito, what is happening? Why are you angry this time? Ken Ludwig, because whose plays have won the top board. theater awards on Broadway and the West End, even worked the name of the city. I was the mayor of Cleveland. Into the recent world premiere of A Comedy of Tenors. I've been lucky to have shows here. What can you tell us about Cleveland audiences? Cleveland audiences are my kind of audiences. I just, that's the primary reason I love to start plays here. They're sophisticated, they're smart, but it's also a great cross-section of middle America. Rob McClure is one of the tenors. He was nominated for a Tony in 2013 for the musical Chaplin. What's a hot young Broadway star doing so far from the Great White Way? You live in New York City, but you spend very little time working in New York City as an actor. I mean, if you're lucky, you work there on occasion, but very few actors are living in New York City and not going anywhere else. We all go to where the work is, um, and, uh, and this is one of those places. Wanna do it again? Yes. Uh, uh, younger. After a hundred years of giving life to great works, Cleveland Playhouse received Broadway's highest honor, the 2015 Regional Theater Tony Award. It recognizes what people in Cleveland have known for a long time, but now the national spotlight is on it. And Laura Kepley, Cleveland the artistic director, can behold Broadway's highest honor in her theater's lobby. And they say that it's very good luck to spin it. Cleveland Playhouse was the country's first professional regional theater, founded in 1915. That was our first sort of permanent theater home. An exhibit at the Cleveland Public Library shows a century of acclaimed productions with unknown stars who would be household names. You recognize Alan Alda. Alan Alda. Alan Alda came to us as an apprentice actor in the late 50s. Later on, obviously, he became Hawkeye Pierce. Kevin Moore is the theater's managing director. Margaret Hamilton was a uh, school teacher here in Cleveland. She's from Shaker Heights, yeah. Ohio, and uh, she was in our company performing in the 1920s. Moved to Hollywood, obviously became the Wicked Witch of the West, and uh, for, by all accounts, just a terrific lady. Who's that little boy? That's Joel Katz, otherwise known to the world as Joel Gray. Probably about nine, I was a, a part of a children's theater group at the Cleveland Playhouse yeah. called The Curtain Pullers. Joel David Katz's mother took him to see a play. He there, found and, uh, the love of his life. No These kids came on stage in makeup with costumes, and my mother's right here, and I said, I want to do that. All I knew is I wanted to do it, and the Playhouse changed my life. A life that's led Joel Gray to a Tony Award, an Oscar, for playing the Master of Ceremonies in Cabaret, then George M. and Wicked, a career he began as a pint-sized curtain puller. What was it like to be a little boy on stage there? I felt powerful when, as a kid, I felt like I had nothing to say in any choices. This was a place I could really bite into. Five years ago, we renovated... To a lot of theaters across the country just take a touring Broadway show out of the box, plug it in, and pull the curtains. Cleveland Playhouse produces new shows. They create the sets. This production has a 15 by 15 foot elevator mm -hmm. in the center of the stage. They make the costumes. You have to make something like this. Oh, you don't, yeah. you don't. You don't find it anywhere. Yeah. That's for sure. This but, one but is worth, worth keeping. keeping I say. Oh, the I, Playhouse I, is a professional theater, but also a civic institution. So we're going to play Night at the Museum. With an education program that puts Playhouse professionals into 93 Cleveland area schools. 
We're not teaching children to act. We are teaching children to manage their emotions. We looked in on a training session. And what we'll do is we'll move to the empty chair. There's always an empty space, so there's one chair less than all of us. What starts as a game of musical chairs gets suddenly serious. Anyone who lost a parent when they were a child. Everything we're doing in the room is going to help you feel better about yourself. Look someone in the eye and say, I have this skill or I'm proud of this. That's so foreign for these kids. They walk in the room already in trauma. Mm -hmm. So our job is to not heighten their trauma, but to embrace it and figure out how to channel it. Much of the last century has been hard times for Cleveland. The city has lost jobs, people, and glamour. But Cleveland Playhouse has stayed. Attention must be paid. They have managed to keep telling the stories. And I think that's a great thing.